Welcome to the University of Melbourne. I'm Professor Ken Hinchcliffe, Dean of the Faculty of Veterinary Science, and thank you for your interest in studying at one of the best veterinary schools in the world. The Faculty of Veterinary Science at the University of Melbourne is Australia's first vet school. It was established in 1909. We've trained over 3,000 veterinarians uh, for practice in Australia and overseas. We have a philosophy in the faculty of learning from the past and looking to the future. That philosophy has enabled us to develop a very innovative uh, curriculum that's now taught through a Doctor of Veterinary Medicine program. The Doctor of Veterinary Medicine is Australia's only postgraduate entry four-year veterinary degree. We're really excited with the DVM program at the University of Melbourne. It features a number of innovations in curriculum design, including small group teaching and a lecture-free final year. In the year one of the DVM, and this is something that's probably quite distinct from some other courses, students are immediately immersed uh, on a journey to become a veterinary graduate. And their studies are, are very integrated. They'll be un undertaking a range of disciplines, for example, anatomy, physiology, pharmacology, and pathology, but their studies are integrated on the basis of particular systems. And this enables students to, from the very beginning of the course, start to become problem solvers and to apply their understanding to the sorts of problems and situations and scenarios that they will encounter later on in the course and obviously after they graduate. The thing I like most about studying veterinary science is problem solving. Uh, being able to apply the knowledge that you've spent so much time studying to try and gain and applying it to a patient that comes through the door or is out in the field sick. To be able to apply that knowledge and take an animal from sick to well is your greatest satisfaction, I think. And their craniovantral lung field sounds a little harsh. In second year, their studies in veterinary bioscience continue and those studies um, are to a large degree hands-on. There's a lot of practical work. There's more time spent in, in uh, practical classes, in the dissection room, the post-mortem room, or handling animals than there is spent in lectures. Students are spending time completing case studies in small groups where they're applying their understanding to clinical problems. Eight? Eight, yeah. Eight and, eight. Eight. and is that normal? That's normal. Why is that normal? Because um, our urine is supposed to be fairly alkaline students begin to understand the myriad of uh, infectious organisms, bacteria, fungi, viruses uh, and um, larger parasites, the various worms and protozoa that cause disease uh, in domestic animal species. In addition to that, students in second year have to have completed 12 weeks of extramural studies which they conduct on farms and in animal shelters. So that's an opportunity for them to be hands-on over their vacations, working in production animal settings largely with animals and gaining experience in how production animal settings work. In uh, DVM3, our students move full-time to our Werribee campus. This gives them the opportunity to have even more hands-on experience working with animals and learning the sorts of techniques and clinical skills which will become so important to them in the future. Communication is really, really important. So I think that's one aspect that Melbourne Uni has actually prepared me well for. Um, secondly, there's also surgical skills. We have the like dissecting clinic which we spend two weeks at doing just castrations and spay, which I think is a really important um, thing as a like a fresh grad, because that's what we'll be like facing with when we first graduate. DVM4 represents a very clear transition to working in the clinic and the hospital. It's an extended year and students rotate through a number of core rotations within our clinic and hospital and also in our partner dairy practices around Victoria. In addition to that they have the opportunity to choose electives for part of the year so they can start to pursue their particular interests as they gain skills and further knowledge and aptitude in veterinary medicine. I enjoy anesthesia rotation the most because it was very hands-on. We got to actually work out our own protocols and actually apply them to the patients that came in for surgery and got to deal with the problems we had during anesthesia and work out from there. So I thought it was a really good rotation I had and enjoy. The lecture-free final year has made a huge difference. You're actually out there in clinics or on rotations in the hospital and you're acting as a veterinarian. 
but you have the support of all the faculty and veterinarians right behind you checking what you're doing and making sure you've got everything right. We can be very confident that graduates of the Melbourne DVM are practice ready when they graduate. Our program has an outcomes focus from the very first week of first year and that is directed very much towards students having the competencies, the skills, the knowledge and the aptitude that they require as veterinary practitioners from the day that they graduate. What do you think you'd like to do with Ellie today? What advice should we give to Mrs Smith? Um, it seems pretty bright. A good idea to do a blood test yeah, to that's um, check the um, pancreatic um, enzymes. Yeah, terrific. Um, However, it's also fair to say that the Melbourne DVM is a very good broad vet general training in veterinary science. Whilst the vast majority of our students will, in the first instance, go into veterinary practice when they graduate, and their degree, of course, enables them to be registered as veterinary practitioners uh, within Australasia. In addition to that, many of our students over time will diversify into ver a very wide range of careers and the Melbourne DVM will equip them very, very well for that. The DVM is matched with the best veterinary programs in the world. We recognise that students learn in a variety of ways. This innovative program allows us to incorporate research and programs in large and small animals. We have a world-class veterinary teaching hospital. This hospital sees over 20,000 animals a year, dogs, cats, wildlife and horses. The, uh, the clinic features both a general practice and a number of referral practices, uh, including a 24-hour emergency and critical care service. The equine clinic sees approximately 2,000 horses a year and features all the advanced imaging modalities. We provide students with access to the most modern diagnostic techniques, all taught by specialists and experts in their area. A feature of the DVM is the rich clinical experience that our students receive. It starts in year one, it starts in day one of the first year, with exposure to animals, incorporation of animals in all the teaching. Students progressively acquire clinical skills throughout the degree. This is, uh, reaches its high point, of course, in the lecture-free final year, but it's a feature of the whole program. We're really proud of our Dairy Residence Program. So this has university veterinarians embedded in four of the main dairy veterinary practices in Australia. And those residents actually are involved in teaching the students on their rotation and they take them out to clinical cases, as well as the other vets in the practices taking the students out to clinical cases. And they also run tutorials in between times or discussing the last case in the car as they travel from one property to another. So that program with its partnerships of main dairy practices, large animal practices, is a really valuable learning experience for our students as they work out in the field where the, where the large animal vets work. Preg test empty, uterine horns are um, within normal limits for an empty animal and her ovaries feel fine. We're really lucky to have the McKinnon Project as part of the faculty. The McKinnon Project is a beef and sheep large animal consultancy and the McKinnon Project vets and consultants are experts in beef cattle health, sheep health and also whole farm consultancy. And that means that students get to work with the McKinnon staff and go out on farms with them for their clinical procedures and consultancies during their production animal rotation. And the McKinnon project has that expertise, both veterinary expertise, but also whole farm analysis. It also conducts on-farm research. And it's that closeness to industry that really benefits our students as they work with the McKinnon project on their rotations. We have, through our alumni networks and professional contacts, an extensive network of contacts throughout the world that allow us to provide students with a range of opportunities in many countries. The students' educational experience at the University of Melbourne is second to none in the world. We value diversity. Our students come to us from all over the world and within Australia from a wide variety of backgrounds. This creates a culture in the faculty that is very international and engaging. That's great. All right, so we're gonna give um, some ACE and some methadone as our pre-medication.
Our staff are passionate about two things. They're pa passionate about teaching veterinary students and they're passionate about research. And these two things come together in the Melbourne School of Veterinary Science. Our staff are world class. Many of them have been trained overseas and all of them are experts in their particular field. We have an excellent student to staff ratio and our staff are engaged, passionate teachers. Our professors are hilarious. I don't know if it's an Australian thing or what, but I, I haven't done vet school anywhere else, but my undergrad was, was never quite as fun as my professors seemed to make it here. I would say they are really enthusiastic about educating like future veterinarians like us. The amount of time they'll dedicate to a single student who's having trouble uh, is immense. Uh, the lectures are really great. It's really nice to be able to knock on doors when you have questions. You call everyone by their first name, so it's, it's really nice and warm and friendly. One of the things we do, and we aim to do, is we equip students and we enthuse students with the possibilities of large animal medicine. And many of our students who may not come from farming backgrounds end up working in mixed or rural practice because of the skills and the enthusiasm that they develop as part of the course. After graduation, I'll be going to work in mixed practice down in Gippsland in Victoria. I grew up in Gippsland, so I'll be going back to the area I came from um, to practice in a large clinic. I'll be vet number 17. Uh, and we'll, we practice in a large number of species, so I'll be able to have a diverse caseload to be able to consolidate the information I've spent years to gain. One of the things we're most proud of is the Melbourne experience. So the student numbers, which are not huge, mean that students form strong friendships as part of a cohort experience. I just, I can't say enough good things about my classmates. They're just fantastic. We're really like a family. We help each other out. You know, if someone's stressing and studying, we'll help each other and study together and all of that kind of stuff, so that's really nice. Everyone pushes each other to just, um, to, to do better. The collegial mentality of the students, um, how we all bridge together, you spend so much time together, you really can't help but become close, it's been really good. We're very conscious that the veterinary profession is a truly international profession and we aim to equip our graduates, for example, in large animal medicine with the skills that they can use, whether it be in Australia or in other countries around the world. And many of our graduates both come from overseas, but also end up working in many different countries around the world. So our aim is for a Melbourne DVM to equip someone to work in the veterinary profession wherever they so choose. The high quality of our DVM program is reflected in its international recognition and accreditation by a number of international bodies. Our program is accredited by the Australasian Veterinary Boards Council the Royal College of Veterinary Surgeons in the United Kingdom and the American Veterinary Medical Association. The international accreditation means a lot because it means that I can actually go back and start practicing in the States as soon as I graduate. And that's really important to me, my family is out there. But what's really nice is it's also accredited in Australia and in the UK and I really love to travel so it's nice to have those options as well. The University of Melbourne is the top ranked Australian university. In addition, it rates in the top 50 universities throughout the world. We're privileged to live in one of the best cities in the world. The city of Melbourne is consistently ranked as the most livable city in the world. It's safe, diverse, inclusive and beautiful. I'd welcome you to come and join us at the University of Melbourne. You'll get a world-class education in veterinary science in a faculty that cares passionately about teaching and the betterment of animal health and well-being. Come and join us at Melbourne.